facing a more than $11 billion backlog in the upkeep of national parks, Interior Secretary Ryan Zinka previously proposed raising fees to $70 in 17 of the most popular parks like Yellowstone, Yosemite and the Grand Canyon. The government allowed the public to weigh in on the fee increases, and the responses showed overwhelming opposition to the dramatic increase. After being rebuffed, the Park Service will now increase fees by $5 per vehicle for 117 national park sites beginning on June 1, 2018. However, the service notes that two-thirds of parks will remain free. That said, there are nuances in the fee increases for different parks, such as increases in annual passes, which can be found here. The Park Service estimates that this fee increase will bring in $60 million a year. When compared with the considerable maintenance backlog facing parks and their antiquated water, sewage and transportation systems, along with general preservation needs, this amount is diminutive. Previously, former Park Service Director John Jarvis said that even a $70 million annual increase to $300 million in total collected fees each year wouldn't make much of a dent. Garter noted that the fee increases will put more money into some parks, which could prove helpful, but dedicated funding from Congress is the only way to realistically solve the maintenance backlog problem. Congress needs to pass legislation with dedicated, robust, and reliable funding to address the deferred maintenance backlog, said Garter. One of the bills in Congress, the National Parks Legacy Act, has gained some support in Congress, but it's nowhere near a vote in either in the Senate or House. The bill would draw from the billions of dollars the federal government collects from companies who extract fossil fuels both onshore and offshore of the United States. Such a funding source might seem incongruous with the mission of Park Service, which is to promote conservation and stewardship of lands, as opposed to the extraction of resources. But the Park Service has few realistic options for obtaining a sizable stream of cash. Fee increases aren't just unpopular, they won't do the trick.